Only two more days on the campaign trail before Thursday's provincial election. Polling suggests voter support has barely changed in the last four weeks, so it's an uphill battle to change minds now. But the NDP and the Liberals are trying, each targeting frontrunner Doug Ford. The crowds that I'm seeing at every one of my stops, that tells me that Ontarians are going to burst Doug Ford's bubble Thursday night. That is a bold claim, considering polling suggests Doug Ford is likely to win a second majority government. The Liberal leader today was dismissive of those polls. The people that I'm talking to don't spend their time obsessed with polls. Today, Stephen Del Duca slammed Doug Ford for being the last to sign the federal child care deal and not giving out rebates to families. Families relying on child care will get a retroactive refund back to January the 1st. Doug Ford's making stuff up again, which is what he likes to do. <laughs> NDP leader Andrea Horvath was also critical of the PC leader. Today, she promised to fix the health care system and hire more nurses. This is Andrea Horvath's fourth election. Here was her response when asked point blank today what her bar is to stay on as leader if her party doesn't perform well. Well, I, I'm going to wait to see what uh, what the people of Ontario decide. I, I hope they vote for hope. The Liberals and NDP are splitting the progressive vote, making it easier for Doug Ford to win. The two parties have spent much of the campaign targeting each other. Even today, the NDP leader squashed any thoughts of joining forces. Because uh, much of what has been broken was broken by the Liberals, what I'm asking the people of Ontario to do this time is come together. Come together behind the NDP. Great to see you, man. Doug Ford was campaigning in the Niagara and St. Catharines area, clearly trying to win over seats the NDP won in 2018. The PC leader did not speak with the media or make any announcements today. It's part of his overall strategy to run a tight, insulated campaign. The Ontario Greens are going to stand up for the small business owners who live and invest in our communities. And Green Party leader Mike Schreiner was in Parry Sound, Muskoka, the riding he believes he has the best shot at to double his party to two seats. Now, there are a few things working in Doug Ford's favor this election. COVID gave him a chance to reinvent himself, and people have largely forgotten about his first two years in office that were quite chaotic. Ontario tends to give premiers two chances. Bob Ray's the only one in recent times that didn't win a second term, and the vast majority of voters don't seem to want massive change, at least not to the degree that they did in 2018. And don't forget, on election night, you have multiple ways to watch your vote count. You can join us on City TV at 9 p.m. for our live election special. Or if you'd prefer to stream it, just log on to citynews.ca and select the coverage that's just right for you. Either way, we have you covered.